And today is a special day because the people in Minish Idlib are also protesting in solidarity with us against the regime in Iran. We come in support of your demands to topple the Mullah regime. We stand with your demands as they are. No executions. No terrorism. No nuclear weapons. And yes, and yes, and yes to a change of the Mullah regime. The Iranian Revolutionary Guard has caused your people and our people great many losses. In the year of 2015, there was a battle where 2,000 of Qasem Soleimani's best fighters lost their lives. It was because of him that he is bringing atrocities to both our nations. Yet he mistakenly believes that he will stay in Syria. And I am here to tell you, on behalf of everybody in Syria, I have just come from Idlib city less than a month ago. I am here to tell you that our, our number one objective is to disinfect our lands from all Qasem Soleimani and his thugs and his people. Economically, from a Syrian opposition perspective, the Rouhani regime stole from the Iranian people 30 billion US dollars to spend it on Assad and his thugs so they can continue in killing us in Syria. Brothers, sisters, Today we have a great opportunity. Today we have the chance to begin the history that was taken away from us. Today we will win if we unite. Today we will topple tyranny if we are together hand in hand. Today it is our responsibility as people who are enjoying the freedom of the United States of America. It is our responsibility to continue to echo the voice of both our nations. It is the responsibility and the duty and the privilege of every person who has the blessings of living in the United States or abroad where you can practice freedom without getting killed, where you can talk and stand in front of officials and tell them to get out and tell them that they do not represent you and you know that you will not get killed. It is our duty to echo the voices of our people in both Syria and Iran. We will win if we unite. Please repeat after me. We will win if we unite.